Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Iron Sheik, 84, and uh, a little bit of good news to share before uh, the stream starts. I hit 40 million, so I got my third Z plate, and I'm super happy about that. And uh, I just thought I'd hop on for just like a little bit, uh, you know, hang on, and then you know, just chill, do whatever, uh, raid Moss afterwards, and then go about my day. So yeah. Um, Without further ado, let's get Blue Stack started. And let's get the show on the road. Just make sure I finished off my last match on my phone before I do that. Yep, Brawl is over. There we go. And. Yeah, there we go. Blue Stack. You know, smarter person would have had everything set up before you hit go live. And also, I really need to clean up my desk. I sent a couple pictures of my setup to one of my faction mates. And I was just like, damn, my desk is very cluttered right now. But here we go. We got this. Looking at the... Uh, the war score, and as you can see here, 41,669,000. The leaderboard, I think top 300. Yeah, there you go, top 300. I'm going to get 15 shards. Yay! Sir Zorro, good morning to you. And uh, I know it's uh, probably evening over there, but good morning. Hope you're doing. I hope you're doing fantastic and you have a great day. And I hope you hit that 40 mil. Uh, I, I hope you hit 40 mil by the end of this... Uh, at the end of this, you got, you got what, four hours to go? So as we see here, there you go, new Z plate. There you go. Why do I need, oh yeah, it's because that... Ugh. Yeah, last last fight, uh, every single time that I tried to do the Johnny Drip Drip setup, I kept cascading, and then uh, Bobby Lashley kept... Uh, Zombie Lashley kept getting his moves in. Alright, there we go. Claim my Fash Feud rewards. And get that. My faction's been in the 50s every single feud, which has been pretty awesome so far. And also, uh, I know I, sh uh, I showed it last night, but I did uh, set up my new uh, my new gaming stuff. And uh, my, my new mouse and my keyboard is really, really nice. So thank you again to my brother Jakob for that. on in the background hey man yeah we're glad to have you Moz there you go I can certainly use those show of hearts after pretty much draining all of mine <laughs> trying to trying to go for uh, the top 12 or whatever in the uh, in the greatest tournament there we go let's just Get the bonus points here. Unbelievable. 15 Hogan shards. There you go. 1,200 shards of AJ Styles. There we go. And 200 shards of Killian Dane. Yeah, I didn't really need any of these here, but whatever. 
see what milestone we hit. 500 health packs, 1.4 million coin. I already am close to max in the solo. I got 24,000 to go. 20 Sammy shards, and I did get Sammy already. So I'm super stoked about that. This is mostly what I wanted here. So uh, 100 Walter shards. I was good. I'm, I'm good on Walter. About 100 Priest shards. I'm still far away. But something exciting to, to, to mention. So, of course, as you saw here, I do have Mr. Zane. But with that thumbtack, I now have the last one that I need to take another trickster to five star gold. And it's going to be Miss Keebler here whenever I get around to it. So yay. Yeah, the next talent up or two, she's gonna she's gonna be five star gold. And then for priest, what am I even at with him? I think I got like yeah, four hundred and fifty, so yeah, there's nowhere nowhere near getting him. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Did I get matched with anybody for Flash Feud? Yep, there we go. The Oasis. So, for those of you who do Christmas, what did y'all get yesterday? Like I said, I unexpectedly got uh, a set of sheets, the uh, the aforementioned razor bundle, and uh, got a couple of other goodies. I got some new, we got some new long pants. You had a fa fantastic Christmas dinner brought to you by Mr. Noodle. Hey, dude, I like noodles. Actually, I, I know I talked about it. I uh, during Masa's stream, I. Like I had, I had Benny, uh, you know, Benny Smajda, who was streaming on YouTube on one screen, and then I had Moss on the other, and uh, I took a break, went and heated up some Chinese food from from lunch, and damn, it was still good. Drone LED lights for your game room micro, yeah, it, LED lights, and then your game room microphone for PC. Yeah, I remember you seeing that. I, I hope, uh, I hope your new microphone works out better for you. Are you able to get one? that uh, isn't giving you as many hassles. Oh yeah, before I forget, um, obviously I'm not sure where you live, but um, still have to get used to like how light this mouse is. Compared to my other one, um, okay, um, I'll just do a damn search already. <laughs> uh, road, road, not that one. The one that I was at ninety six. Where is it? Before I forget, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I know the there's a link, but also there's a there's a place called Micro Center. I don't know if you have one where you live, 
uh, or if you've ever even heard of the heard of the uh, the store, uh, they have some pretty reasonably priced products. And the Red Dragon one and the Hyper X one isn't bad for fifty bucks. Yeah, parents are driving in from Quebec to see me tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know, I gotta tell you, the, uh, yeah, I gotta get, like I said, it's, I gotta get used, because this thing's, like, really, like, super, like, way more responsive than my other one was, uh, yeah, OGD, uh, have you ever, have you ever watched a show called The Critic? Or, or, like I said, you heard of it, you know, you've ever watched it? Yeah, you know, every single time I, uh, I know you may not remember this specific part of it, but, uh, there's, there's like a part where you like, where he's imagining taking and making a speech and he's like something, you know, it's like something, I and mean, I think he's like, he's like, and I want like independence for Quebec and you know, it's like, and then, uh, you know, it like, it goes to like a crowd shot of, uh, people like carrying like the Quebec, you know, of like chanting like Viva J. Sherman, Viva Quebec. And like that's the that's the first thing that I think of every single time I think of Quebec. And then of course like G's the other one. And then the third is uh, have you ever seen uh, have you have has anybody here seen Super Troopers two? Yeah, so you know, obviously, like I said, in 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 the same in the same vein as uh, you know, as talking about G, you know, like Will, uh, what is it? Will Sasso's character is the is the Quebec, uh, we like you know, RPMC guy. So you know, it's it's the <laughs> it's the it's the it's that way that Quebec people speak English. Uh, I really enjoy that. I'll remember to edit this out. Oh, yeah. I changed screens because nobody's going to see this. Yeah, I'm going to slide that. You know, actually, now that I think about this, I'm going to. I've spent my entire... There you go, hang on. Where yeah, there's Goldie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Set that to Goldie. Yeah, typical Canada, eh? Well, I mean, I, I gotta tell you, the I never I I mean I know we're just joking, you know, I know it's, I'm just joking around and everything, of course. I never uh I never assume people's uh you know like uh what is it like their accents and stuff just based where they're from. Because I've grown up in the U.S. my entire life. And I know I use y'all and, you know, some of the other vernacular from here in Texas just because, you know, it's part of my, it's part of my vocabulary. But, you know, as I've said before, you know, I don't speak with the Texas drawl. I don't sound like somebody from a cowboy, you know, like from, from some sort of slitty slicker movie. You know, I, I just speak like this, which is kind of odd because, uh, yeah, I, I, I've had people point that out to me that I don't sound like I'm from the South. 
unless people hear me, you know, say y'all or, you know, something, you know, like I said, something along those lines. Yeah, I know GD, and I know that, uh, yeah, I used to, yeah, the, the thing is, that I, you know, as funny as it is, like, I do my other accents, I can't do, like, a Middle Eastern one that well. I can do my fake Arabic pretty well, but, you know, I, I have a problem with it, you know, it's like, whenever I do my accent, it sounds more like I'm doing really bad Russian stereotype than, uh, you know, than, than, uh, than, you know, trying to do, like, you know, somebody who's from Afghanistan or whatever. Yeah, I still need to do it. I still need one more Hogan win just for that extra little bit. And I remember you talking about on your stream that uh, people expect you to have a lisp, you know. But people don't understand that not everybody speaks that way. And also, like, I laugh about it, you know, I, I, I don't get offended by it, I told you, I don't get offended, there are very few things that'll, like, actually offend me, um, and they're all pretty much, like, the same, like, the standard things that would piss anybody off, you know, I told you, I don't like people being transphobic, I don't like people being homophobic, I don't like people being racist, you know, or bigoted or anything like that, so I know that I say, like, oh, you know, things don't bother me, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna tolerate it, period, but, um, the one of the funny things is you know uh the sweater for drew sucks by the way his bleed never goes off like ever you only have an 18 percent chance for it and it's like it's a complete it's a, it's it's useless in fact i'm gonna set that i'm gonna take that off now now that you mentioned it um the, the move i mean uh, but yeah, the, uh, one of the things I get, I get quite a bit from people, um, is they took, you know, like they take a look at my name, you know, and I mean, I don't know, I know, I know it's not some huge secret, like my, my, my name is Shamsala, uh, you know, like they'll take, you know, like whenever uh, I've done phone interviews, whenever I, whenever I've gone to work some, you know, when I, when I wanted to work somewhere and, uh, you know, like I get called by the recruiter and they're like, you know, hi, you know, my name is Tiffany from blah, 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 blah. It's like, I want to speak to Shams, Shams, and I'm like, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, hi, Tiffany. I was like, it's Shamsala, but I'll go by Shams just to make it easier for, you know, make it easier on everybody. Wow. You speak English really well for somebody with a name like that. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, thank you. That was way too loud. Yeah, and I mean, like, and I know they're not saying it in a bad way or anything like that, but still, it's just like, I laugh because I'm like, uh, you know, it, it's just like I said, I was like, uh, you, you do realize that people, like, you know, grow up here and, you know, they you know, we're not all, we're not all fobs, lady. <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly, and, you know, and, like, and here's the thing, like, I told you, I, uh, you know, I, it's just, you know, uh, and please forgive me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this to poke fun or anything like that in any way, shape, or form, but, you know, you know, if somebody's gay, they don't have to, like, be like, oh, oh, uh, hi, how are you, how are you, oh, you're so fabulous, you know, people who are gay don't have to sound like that in order to be you know in order to be gay and like and understand i'm just like i'm not i'm not poking fun i'm not i'm not i'm only prefacing that because i don't want somebody to be like oh he's making fun of gay people i'm not but yeah it's like you know like i said people don't have to speak like that to be gay and just ugh, it, it really it really bothers me when uh you, you know again again like you know when i i hear people say stuff like you know like wow you don't sound black or oh you don't sound gay and i'm like that's so fucking rude so so rude
And normally you tell them you don't sound straight. <laughs> I actually have a very, very 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 non uh pc joke that i make when people make comments about my accent but i'm not i'm not saying it on stream because uh it's gonna get me in a shitload of trouble if i do oh how does the sweater work out for him oh yeah I, I didn't change it here well uh so uh and we'll just bam there we go okay so I'm gonna change the move out right now. So, so what the what the what what the gear does is moves that cause bleed will give you 125% more bleed damage. But the issue is, you only have an 18% chance to do the bleed, and uh, it like that's not what I wanted to do. It, it like it. I gotta tell you, for every like hundred times that I use it, maybe it goes off twice. Yeah, it, it's. I so I've always said this. Like, I don't like. I personally am not a fan of the percentage hit moves because what happens is the CPU will always hit it. I won't. Uh, so that's that's like I'm not a like I said I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather. Uh, I would much rather, you know, like, like you know where it says, like, 90,000 90, damage or whatever? I would rather get, like, 50,000 bleed damage and have it guaranteed every time than have, uh, you know, uh, than have, like, an 18% chance of doing, like, 100k. Uh, Tech Drew, uh, I didn't get Tech Drew's uh, uh, sweater. It's... Is it 100 or 150 percent more snowfall damage? I forget which one it is. Yeah, yeah, Tech Drews is actually good and useful. The the this one, like I said, it's it's garbage in my opinion. It's 100. Okay, OGD. Yeah, it's 100 percent. Well, I didn't want to pin him, but okay, whatever. Now, is that only the snowfalls themselves, or the damage comes from the snowballs and the blues that follow? I believe, okay, if unless I'm wrong, I believe it's the it's the blues that follow. and then yeah I'm glad I took that bleed off it's like I said it's kind of a it's a pointless yeah I would you know it's like do you know what would be nicer if the if the sweater instead of doing like more uh like percentage of bleed damage if it was like you know like increased chance like you know it's like like a 75% chance of bleed or something like that that would be so much better Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna. There you go. Uh, okay, with that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna start. If I'm gonna chase this one or not. There's gonna be one more tour today, and I'll see where I am at the end of it. Yeah. So you get. So you get. So at twenty-four thousand, you get two of these, and you get what is it like? You know, you get like the five boxes or whatever. And then if you if you max it, you get ten emerald tokens and the tech drew gear. I would much rather have. I mean, like I'd much rather have these ten emerald tokens. So I might. I'm 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 gonna definitely go for this right here. Yeah, honestly, I'd much rather. I'd much rather just finish off this damn thing. So I already finished off the Nikki talent up thing. Um, this right here, I don't know how much the tour is going to give me, but I mean, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do like two or three hundred dollars worth of pulls to finish this off because I don't, I, I don't care enough to, to, to do that. 
Although I do kind of want to hit the next goal because these socks right here have the shards that are needed for the for the other contest. So I might I might do a couple more just for this. And if this is feasible, like within like say 20 bucks, I might do a couple more pulls. As much as I would love to hit five million, there's not I don't I don't see anything like game breaking to me to like wanna absolutely hit this. I should see if anybody needs a heal. He's a heal. Okay, nope. Brawl over. Let's get started on another one. 17. Invasion is over. Two more tokens for your first edge. Gee, that's awesome. So far, I know it's showing up soft. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven. And then I have... Uh, it, it's it's a matter... So this is like just a matter of time. But there you go. I got... Oh, hey. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, so I got a tenth one for that too. So I can take one of everybody except for tech to another five star gold so this is going to be dx sean eventually that's going to be randy orton that's going to be sheamus that's going to be stacy and this is going to be um that's going to be zombie lashley this one um it's either going to be it's it's either i'm going to do the botch the botch setup with mankind or you know mr Sacco, or uh I thought about what is it? I could either do that or like the really, really long game is gonna be uh, Zombie Edge here. But the only thing is that like that's gonna be a while away, and by the time that he's ready to go up, I'm probably gonna have another ten tokens. So, I, I more immediately it's gonna be in my it's gonna be in my favor to take up Sako probably. Here we go. Yeah, it's all a cat and mouse game, and I mean, like, I really like using Sako. Sako has been one of my favorite people on my roster since I've gotten him. So I have uh, no. The only reason why I didn't take him up, or I mean, Tech Dragon's better, just you know, right off the bat. But uh, you know, the fact that his bleed didn't scale is what kept me from wanting to take him up in the first place. So first time I have William Melvin and Phil, the top row in a feud, it's really fun. Oh yeah, I so I thought about dumping the resources into uh, into my head of the table Roman, but mine's only four SB, and I was just like, you know, and I was already uh, I told you I wasn't chasing a leaderboard, and uh, considering that I was almost at forty million anyway, I was just like, yeah, I'll live without it. I have the coins and the tokens and the TP and stuff uh, to do it, but I already maxed the TP for the week. And to take them from four-star bronze to five-star was going to be like, what, um, like 20 or 30 million or something like that. And to me, it just it wasn't worth it. I always, I always think about stuff in like long term things. If I was chasing a leaderboard or it would be of some like giant benefit to me, I would have done it in a heartbeat and not thought twice about it. But you know, since it's not going to, why, like I said, why, why waste the resources? Yeah, if I was like, if I was, uh, if I was top 50 or whatever, like you are, uh, you said you're 30, you're 26 now. Yeah, if I was that high up like you were, then I would, like I said, then I would definitely do it. Actually, take okay. Here, I'll go. I'll finish off these matches first. 
Yeah, finish my plate first, and then then then, then goof off later. Let me get that dragon. I'll trade you. Yeah, uh, tech dragon actually like. Um, I don't know, like, ever since Alpha, I've, you know, like, I've been able to, I, I've been maxing every single MLC and gotten every a single MLC character since then. And uh, Tech Dragon, like, whenever I saw him, I was just like, oh, holy crap, I gotta get this guy. And then uh, me and uh, Can You Smell It, you know, aka Great J-Man Gaming, you know, we we're like, yeah, we're gonna keep going after each other and see who gets it. And then, you know, we got that, and then we had our battle for who got C C uh, Cesaro first and everything. Demon Balor, ooh, that one, I, that, would, that would have to be a serious, serious thing that I would have to debate. I love me some Demon Balor. Yeah, his trial was awesome, and uh, I maxed, uh, I maxed that event. Is Evie up here? Oh, hey! Come here, Evie. Evie the dog. Evie. Oh. Thought I heard her. Thought I heard her shuffling about. This is Evie the dog. She's a little girl. Evie. 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 Say hi to everybody. Hello. My wiener dog. It was her birthday. It was her birthday on Monday. Yeah, actually, I was going to take, uh, oh yeah, trust me, I know, I, with me, uh, I, I've always loved Wiener Dogs, and then, uh, when I saw the Norm Macdonald show, and he had his Wiener Dog, I was just like, yeah, I was like, one of these days, I'm gonna get a Wiener Dog, and then that's where, that's where we got our dogs from. Yeah, rip Norm Macdonald. I love Norm Macdonald. Yeah, well, actually, what happened was, uh, so I know I say, it's not that I was, like, down on resources or anything like that, but for King Booker, I was like, well, you know, I'm, I like, I, you know, I told myself, I was like, ah, I'll take a month off. And then I saw DJ's preview, preview video of him. And I was like, well, uh, I guess I'm not taking a month off now. And uh, went for King Booker. And I really, really like him because he is like, you know, he is the answer to Memorock. The, and I know some people don't like him because they feel like he's too slow. But, you know, he definitely can uh, pack a punch. And his leech, his leech gem setup is quite good for people who, uh, who don't like the, the trap setup that he has. my coffee got cold there you go yeah but king booker is a beast and i'm glad i didn't i'm glad i didn't take the month off i know um J man said he was gonna take off for sammy but it's just one of those things like i want to you know i was just like well you know like i got the i got the train going i've i've gotten the characters every single month may as well get sammy so uh i i didn't um i didn't push it too much with like pulls and uh, and whatnot, and I was still able to get them pretty easily, so I was pretty happy about that. There we go. Hopefully, this is enough. Okay, of course he kicks out. Steam mode has been a savior. I'm running 148k and facing four, five SG each brawl, and the five SS Steam mode is taking him out turn one. Oh yeah, well no, like, I gotta tell you, Steamboat's my, like, basically, you know, Steamboat's my, hey, you know, I need to take, 
in my insurance policy when it comes you know when it comes to needing to take anybody out in this game you know uh because the countdown gems i mean like it's just i mean you know how it is there's there's really no counter for it once you get it going that's it and then i know you said you hated it last night but i'm running mine with king booker so <laughs> the other the other tech dragons are they're 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 losing a turn or two against me Just an Ivy Twitch by. Have a good one. Oh, hey. Good morning, Ivy girl. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know I need to use the MP down coaches more, but like, eh, I... I don't know. Like, I told you sometimes I get lazy. I'm just like, eh, whatever. I know sometimes people are like, oh, why don't you running this setup? I'm like, ah, win with this one. What do I care? <laughs> right, one of the things I was super stoked about is I know... Um, yeah, Steamboat Top Row is like 1.6 each brawl. Yeah, I, you know, like, Riddle was the first time that I ever pulled anybody from a bag, like, ever. And I was so stoked because I had him on the top row, and I mean, like, I was just crushing it as far as war score goes. I, I, I regret not maxing it, but that's, I, like, a, unfortunately, I just was so busy, I couldn't. But yeah, it, it definitely does come in handy. And once I get the uh, more of the feud promoters, then life is going to be so much easier for me. Yeah, you know, the thing is that I, I mean, of course, like everybody has their play styles, right? And what they, you know, like how they like to play the game, how they like to do this, how they like to do that. I, I mean, like, I like Riddle. I think his coaching ability is one of the best in the game, period. I know some people argue with me and say Santa Hogan's better, which I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue that on any day of the week. Again, you can argue that you know Santa Hogan's is better, but like I think Riddle as a standalone is not as good as he is tagging with Orton. Uh, and you know, but I mean that's just I mean that's again that's just one person's uh, opinion. Uh, you know, everybody, you know, everybody's got their opinion. I know, like, some people are super high on JBL. I'm really not. I'm, I'm not. Uh, and then, you know, like, I, I, like, I, for example, I like Motu Cena. I mean, like, he's not the best character in the game by any means. But, you know, I like him a lot better than other people do. Yeah, no MP needed for Fuge. Yeah, that's part of the reason why, if anybody wonders, like, that's why I run Sako so much is... So, I, I know I talked about his bleed not scaling, but anybody 5SS and down, he's still gonna just cream him. And then, uh, the fact that he does, like, you know, that he has the 1 MP, uh, you know, the 1 MP move, like, that just frees up, you know, an MP trainer for somebody else. Alright, I'm gonna try to get my last Hogan win here with the bonus points, hopefully. Oh yeah, Acro Macho is really, really good. Like, I don't think people uh, realize with the bad attitude plate, like, how good he is. And the fact that he can um, basically forever loop his, uh, forever loop his moves with a bad attitude plate. But, you know, like, you know, like I said, just some people, like, that's, I, again, that's not their play style. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get anybody, uh, get on to somebody for not liking to play the game like I do. You know, uh, again, like, I really like Johnny Drip Drip, for example, but I know some people, like, I know some people don't like the, you know, don't like the, the looping or anything like that, or might think that he's too slow. Taking Acro Macho 5 SG, yeah, the, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I know, uh, Great J-Man says that, 
he if like if he gets uh if he gets uh what is it uh macho king at some point he said he's gonna he's gonna take every single one of his machos five star gold because he's a big fan of the macho man and just like in general he's such a good character and i don't blame him at all in fact i was talking about it on benny's stream yesterday tuf and Acromacho are the oldest cards in the game I don't have right now. I think I think Piper was older than all of them, if I unless memory serves me incorrect. And I did get Piper, and I did I did get Perfect in the last like six months or whatever. So I now have like the old like you know like you know like the like the year one year two characters. Let's see, Merrickson's on. I didn't realize Marix was on. It looks like there's somebody new here that I haven't seen before. Purple Dare. 870. I got on my first week back playing and didn't realize how rare he was until recently. Yeah. Got three streams up currently. The 43 inch monitor is full. Merrix, Moss, and Sheik. I can only troll so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be on for too much longer. I, uh, I just wanted to... Like, I, I streamed all, you know, like, every single feud. And I was just like, well, you know, I wanted to keep the, the streak going with number four. I... I probably let's see. I'm a, I'm I'm close to an hour. Maybe I'll do like another another thirty minutes or so, and then uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna kick it on over to to Moss or Merricks. I I have some errands to run. I have you know this and that to do. You know all the you know the normal Sunday errands. I gotta gotta go return something at Sam's. I gotta go pick up some cigarettes for the store. Uh, and then, you know, wherever else my mom and I end up going. How high would you put Z Brian without gear and gear? Uh, Z Brian, uh, is definitely one of the top in the game. Gear, gear or otherwise, in my opinion. I don't think he's the best, but he is one of the best. Yeah, with gear, I mean, definitely way better. Uh, but even without, I mean, like, I really enjoy using them. So, yeah, the uh, the the reason why I'm going with Sheamus for a powerhouse five SG is uh, he. I, I, I'm I'm good on I'm good on like modern superstars, and with Walter with my Walter setup, I'm easily getting like over a million you know, at 5SS, I do have gear. Okay, then, yeah, I would, yeah, I, I would say he's a great choice for 5SG. Yeah, and if you have the NWO plate on top of that, too. Yeah, but like I said, the um, PG, yeah, OGD. Trust me, I I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm kind of like, especially especially hitting forty mil. I'm kind of like, you know, that that was a lot of feuding over over four days. That's why uh, I said it on Monster Stream. Like me personally, like if I was if I was choosing the if i was choosing you know like how to set this up i wouldn't have done four flash feuds i would have done three and then i would have eliminated the one on christmas day because like i said even though even though i don't do christmas um i really think that that day should have been like just like left alone for for people to have fun with their families and whatnot yeah lee yeah lee's up there um luke is another good one
Yeah, Stevie is definitely awesome. And then uh, I've seen The Godfather. He he really does uh, he really does some some wacky stuff. Forty million lowering the one time per person. Yeah. Yeah, I I just wanted another Z plate because right now, like I so this is my third one. One's one slated for Zombie Edge. Um, after seeing Sir Zoro's video, like I said, I'm gonna I'm planning on putting the second one on um, on uh, Tech Oscar, and then the third one I'll leave that open for for whoever uh, forever I want to put it on in the future. But Tech Oscar, I mean, like I have I have you know like thousands upon thousands of thousands of shards uh, of shards of her so. I'm going to save the TP and plus, uh, like I said, turn, you know, like turn two or turn three, you can do like three million. So it just basically survive and, you know, you will take out anybody in the game, period. Yeah, and Fiveness, I didn't even really go after Big E. Uh, I... Like, after seeing the preview videos of him, like, I really think he has a ton of potential. But he kind of also suffers from the same thing that, you know, Walter does. Is, you know, like, he needs to be, you know, he needs at least one turn, if not two. And as much as I love Walter, like, you can't, like, it's... If you don't get it turn one, then somebody else, you know, it's like with, like, you know, we'll, we'll definitely, like, take you out afterwards. Man, did I get all of my bonus points? Yes, I did. There we go. Yeah, lowering the, the yeah, the lowering, the lowering the 75,000 definitely hurt. But also, that's also, like, more motivation for me to, to like I said, to finally get the, the those feud promoters. I've been, like I said, I was slacking on it for quite some time. And I've, you know, like, I've been doing the SIP tours every single day to make sure that I get, you know, that I, that I start getting these, uh, that I start getting those characters. And I'm over, I'm well over halfway to Cena. Or, I mean, I'm over halfway on Cena and on... Kane, and then after that, I'm going to go for Triple H and Brett. In fact, let's see where I am with them right now. I need to do the blue for the day, so... Streamlabs. Dashboard. Cloud bot timers. I'll change this to fifteen minutes. There we go. That's good. All right, that's showing up a little bit too much for my taste. Hundred something left to get I W Batista. Yeah, the Batista one was. Uh, I'm glad uh, that was one that I was glad I got. The only thing that sucks is I don't have I don't have a belt for him. And until that until I do, he's not going to be as effective as he could be. Here we go. Rooster, promoter, shards. So of course, like you know, I got I got Charlotte Flair over there. Um, these are from the faction store. I have every single one of them, so I'm good there. Uh, for Stip Tours, I got Batista, I have Becky, and then the free Sean that everybody got. So, um, I got less than 200 to get Macho here. I'm working on Trish, and then, you know, of course, focus on Orton. And then I've been doing, like I said, the getting the John Cena and Kane shards every day. And then after I get done with that, after I get done with Kane, I'll probably start on Brett only because he's like he you know there's there's less shards to, that i need to get but then once i get cena then i'm gonna switch over to triple h so it'll be these two and then uh taker i mean 
that's going to just take a long time. There, There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. So Taker's definitely going to be the absolute last one that I get on that list. And also, before I forget, I need to sign up, sign up for some of the Tap Choice stuff. Because it's 2x we it's a 2x weekend. And I could definitely use more uh, more cash to do uh, pulls and things for free. Let's see, yeah, I'm nowhere near anywhere on that. And then for where am I on feud score? Hopefully whenever I stop streaming and stop really playing, I don't uh, dip into like the 500s or anything and out of this. You know actually what sucks? Uh, like I typically don't have good, uh, good luck with the bags, but actually for me, like it's probably it's better to be in 200 to 300 than it is for uh for or actually no it's 15 is the minimum then never mind it doesn't matter all right well i don't know what i'm talking about don't pay attention to me Let's see if anybody needs a heal Telling my buddy Power Play about me getting, getting that, uh, getting that crazy amount there. Top five Santa Claus. Oh hey, DJ put out a new video. And then Merrick's streaming. Here we go. I'll take a break from feud and we'll watch this. So uh, we'll watch this video. We got two people. Let's all watch this. Did I switch to the right screen? Yeah, computer screen full. Yeah.
place with two votes or two points, and Austin only had one point. Now, I will mention, honorable mention, Striker Austin dons the Santa suit, and I've heard he can be super nasty at five star. I have no experience, and I've not actually seen it in action, so I don't really know for sure. But from my experience and everything that I know, I had to go with bartender here. And that's how we got to that. So there you have it, the top five Santa Claus. And I want to give a huge shout out to Great Caveman Gaming and Goldie Gaming. And I will link their channels in the description below. Y'all can go check them out. Sub them on YouTube. Follow Goldie on Twitch. And yeah, expect more of these fun ones in the future. And you never know who I'm going to feature. So the panel that's on my top five will not always be the same. I will still use the five to do some of these videos, but I want to crank out more, and I don't want to constantly be a pester and have people keep on sending me information. So I will be featuring some other people on here, so stay tuned for more top fives coming at you soon. Until next time. All right, all right, all right. All right, so while I get that going, yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a pretty good thing. I, I, I pretty much agree with that. I definitely think that Santa Hogan is the best of them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a powerhouse Hogan myself, so I can't really comment on that one. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, some good stuff all around. Of course, uh, love me some Goldies Gaming, and Great J-Man is uh, my friend, my faction mate, and my biggest rival in this game. So, uh, definitely, uh, uh, you know, like, I, I like his opinions. I'll probably give him a bunch of shit about this afterwards and tell him that he's wrong, but... <laughs> what are friends for, right? And G. Wills, thank you very, very much for the follow. And, uh, Moz, thank you very much for that comment. Yeah, I, like, you know, like I said, I'm just a... I always tell people, I'm just a regular dude who enjoys this game and likes to share his knowledge and, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun with, uh... You know with how i do things you know and as always i'm incredibly grateful to everybody who comes and hangs out with me on stream and you know i just like i said just try to try to make it a fun place there you go and also uh i know there's like three hours left in the there's like three hours left in the in the feud but i th think this is probably gonna be my last match here and then i'm gonna and then, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and uh, get get ready to kind of go about my day. Uh... <laughs> yeah, don't remind me, big sad. Yeah. Yeah, I I might I think I'm 160 away from getting Powerhouse Hogan now, so I'm close, but it just. Every single time that there's a that there's a giveaway or you know like uh, you know they have like a loot form, I just never get it. Yeah, but yeah, I, I did see that. Yeah, I appreciate. Yeah, like I said, I appreciate that. I uh, been watching your vid YouTube videos, chill guy. I appreciate that. Yeah, and my, yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I you know I, it, it's one of those things like you know it, stuff happens in its time. You know I'll. Uh, you know, I got, uh, I get a decent amount of people watching me on YouTube, you know, uh, I know right now there's not like a ton of people on Twitch, but you know, Maz has been going for like, what, like 13 hours now or something crazy like that. And then, uh, Merrick's is on, but yeah, I mean, I, I have my fun. I, I enjoy it. And I, I, like I said, I appreciate everything, Maz. Yeah. And G, uh, G Wills. Yeah. I, uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, like I said, I you know, I, like I said, I just try to have my fun, you know, and do my, do my own thing. Uh, one of the, one of the biggest things that I can tell somebody who wants to, who wants to stream the game is, uh, you know, like do things your own way. Try you know, like be unique. Cause, uh, you know, here's the thing. I, sometimes people are like, oh, it's like, you know, I know I, to, to paraphrase what, uh, Davey D told Merrick's is like you know don't try to be the next dj don't try to be the next garrison don't try to be the next dvd be the next merrick's 
and the same thing with me i don't you know like i i know i i know i i go more on the entertainment side more than than on the info side but that's only because uh you know not a i, I try to be like I, said, I try to be entertaining um you know and then just kind of like throw out the hey you know you should set up your stuff like this uh i you know i i <laughs> i have a lot more fun talking about like horror movies and you know what I, what i'm eating for dinner <laughs> <laughs> then sitting there being like oh well, you know like the best setup for tech dragon is to do blah 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 i mean for the most part y'all y'all know it and you know if anybody has specific questions about hey how do you set this up or how would you do this or who do you think is better i'm always happy to to to, to lend to lend my advice and one of the things too is uh yeah you know uh you know one of the things too is um if anybody ever has any like a, any any questions on how to do setups and things and yeah and like i said you know anything that i give is my opinion so you know like if somebody if somebody thinks that you know this character is better than that character you know uh, i may not agree but at the end of the day that's you know it's your opinion and you're more than welcome to it just like i'm welcome to mine and you know like if somebody's gonna be like oh you know uh what is it so like like chad gable at five star gold is better than tech dragon like i don't agree with it but hey if that's if 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 that's what you if that's what you think by more you know more power to you <laughs> three four there we go yeah and also i do i do provide uh i do provide information on how to do stream setups and stuff as well so yeah just let me know only a few more points to make me suffer. Oh, yeah, well, actually, stream's ending here shortly, so you'll have your, you'll probably have to wait till next time, Pipeness. Oh, look. Discover the beauty of America's national parks in a 12-month calendar. Only $8.61 on the Amazon treasure truck. One sec. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, yeah, and, uh, what was I going to say? I saw that, yeah. Unfortunately, the solar call, yeah, they never called me back. I think they got scared after I told them that I was going to stream it. Otherwise, why wouldn't they call me back? You've been away from the game for 12 months, months so any tidbits are appreciated. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been playing the game pretty much since the beginning. Uh, let's see what my profile here says. Well, right now it's saying I'm not in a faction. <laughs> Which I always find that funny. I guess they're doing an update because they're saying that I don't have a player profile. But I've been playing this game for—I—I've—I've I've, I've been playing the game since pretty much the beginning. So I mean, like, I know for a fact, like, I'm over four years. Period. I've been playing the game consistently. A uh, lot of stuff has changed in the game. I mean, I know—I uh, know people who who had been away for a while. Like the the medals and belt setups were like completely foreign to them. I know, like, DVD stepped away for a while and came back, and, like, some of his characters, you know, it's like, he's gotten a bunch of the new characters, but he was like, hey, it's like, I'm gonna move up Earthquake and stuff like that, and I was kind of like, uh, I was like, you know, I was like, uh, you know, Earthquake's not that good anymore. <laughs> Definitely come out with apparel. Yeah, well, somebody, I, I might commission somebody, I I I'm terrible at drawing, by the way, I, somebody said that I should have a, uh, that I have, should I have, uh, I should have, like, a cartoon figure of me putting uh the weenie in a mask in the camel clutch and making him humble so i don't know maybe i might come out with a shirt of that at some point you're playing pre five star so yeah i mean the the five star era has definitely changed things up just like the four star era has for the most part you know and i mean i know i'm being like super general here for the most part the people who were good at four star are good at five star but there are definitely people who, like, fell off the wagon in a 
big, you know, big time. Uh, like, I can tell you that, like, Doink, for example, Tech Doink. Tech Doink was fantastic at four star, you know, and I used to do a ton of damage with him. Now, like, in the five star era, he's terrible. Like, I would not, I, they, I would not take him five stars and up. Uh, kind of like the same thing when, like, someone four stars came up. So, like, uh, Stardust was one of the cornerstones of my roster in the three star gold era. When it came to four star, like I said, again, he kind of, he fell off the cliff big time. Uh, let's see, who else would I, s anybody else that y'all would say, like, in the five star era, like, fell off big time? I don't want to sit here and, like, monopolize the... Monopolize that and say it's, like, it's this or that, definitely. G Doink is the one that comes to mind. And then, uh... Like, Zombie Austin isn't the god-tier char god character in this game anymore. That's another thing. Um, he's still a solid character. It's just he's not the... He's not the end-all, be-all that he used to be. Trying to think of what else, uh, anybody else off the top of my head. Um, four star character that's no longer really good. Or five star. Hmm. Tech doing 4SG for me using PHN and 4SS tech doing. Yeah. Oh. Tech Orton is another one. Tech Orton at four star, like four star gold, was awesome. Now he's not. He's not. Uh, he's not that great. I'd have to. I'd have to, I'd have to like look at my roster. I'll do it. I'll do it real. We'll do. We'll do a quick retrospective after this, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day. And actually, I was gonna. You know, I actually now I'm thinking about it. There was one more thing I was gonna record, and I may as well just do it now. I have a boatload of. Uh, I have a boatload of uh, keys to, to pull. I mean, I'm probably not going to get anything fantastic with it, but may as well may as well do that on stream now and get it over with. Let's see. I'm not going to waste my time doing the other yeah, thing. This is going to be more than enough to, to finish him off. Damn. Point wasting time doing three moves when two will do it. There we go. Uno, dos, and tres. We got this done with. Dave Bautista and my last streamed battle for the faction feud for this faction feud and any faction feud this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that done. All right, making sure my faction didn't need me for anything. Wham, threw them out there, turn these into yellow gems, yeah. And also, I was, I was debating taking Shane, uh, Shane to, uh, to 9k, but it was like, it, it was way more TP and coin than I wanted to use. Although I thought about just YOLOing it and getting that, uh, getting the 50% damage with them. Yeah, SB on, yeah. Well, actually, one of my one of my faction mates, he's got Tech Drew at like nine k, so he's like with double MP trainers and Tech Drew as a coach. He's like he, you know, he said Andre's somewhat viable again, but not a, uh, not to the extent that he used to be. SP Andre is just so slow. I mean, he's still good. Don't get me wrong, but oof, is he slow? Yeah, Gigantes, 
the ring. Okay, all right, there we go. An Iron Sheik 84, got almost a mil. All right, so taking a look at the roster right here. So a lot of my 4SG characters. Jimmy Uso is no longer good at five star. In my, and again, these are just my, this is my opinion, you know, Anybody's welcome to argue with me on it. But, yeah, Jimmy Uso's not good in the five-star era. Uh, Trick Taker is no longer good in the five-star era. Neither is Anvil. We already talked about Andre. Uh, let's see. Uh, Paige, especially now with, like, the bigger health bars, she's not that good. Who else here? Can't really, like I said, I know I named those off. Uh, anyone? Don't see anybody that's like just popping out at me like crazy. Uh, NXT Seth is not that good. It's not as good anymore. Five star era. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm going to be, by the way, I, I'm going to do one more thing and then I'm going to call it a stream. But just to make editing and everything easy on me, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitch <clears throat> at IronCheek84 for more WWE Champions action. And with that, best of luck in the last faction feud and in the last tour of the Big E uh, Power Positivity uh, tour that's going to be coming up. So bye-bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.